Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 11 of <laughs> Sunday School. Um, so do you ever notice when you're outside that there's maybe signs on the road in, you know, while, while you're looking, walking, or riding in the car? What do those signs tell you? So many signs tell us things that we're supposed to do, right? Um, there's signs that say stop. There's some signs that might say Myers or Target, you know, a grocery store where you want to go, right? Maybe you know the sign for McDonald's. I don't know. Um, but signs, uh, many signs direct us to the things that we want to buy or places where we want to go. Sometimes there's signs that are warnings and they protect us like road closed and that would be stop because you know other traffic's going. Um, so in our, our lesson today, we're going to learn about some signs that God used to show Pharaoh who he was. So some of these signs I don't know. I know I would not want to be there with these. These are really not good signs, but they, he was trying to get Pharaoh's attention. So it is the story of Moses and the plagues. Are you ready? It's from Exodus 7. In the, in the burning bush on Mount Harob, God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and his brother Aaron and free Israel. But Pharaoh would not free Israel just because God told him to. Moses warned him God would send plagues that would harm Egypt, and Pharaoh didn't care. He would not listen to God, and he would not listen to Moses. So in the first plague, God turned all the water in the Nile River into blood. Many of the fish died, and no one could use the water. You couldn't get a drink of water. But Pharaoh's magician could turn water into blood, too. So he thought Moses was just doing a magic trick. Pharaoh hardened his heart, and that means he refused to do what God wanted him to do. So first plague was turning water into blood. Now, the second plague brought many frogs out of the Nile River. I mean, I like to see a frog happen once in a while, but this was crazy. Frogs everywhere. I mean, would you want a frog in your cereal bowl? I don't think so. But the frogs were everywhere. Pharaoh's magician could make frogs come too, but they could not make them go. So Pharaoh asked Moses to pray for God to take the frogs away, and God made them die. Once the frogs were dead, Pharaoh hardened his heart again and said no. Now the third plague brought clouds of gnats. Pharaoh's magicians tried, but they couldn't do this with their tricks. They told Pharaoh Moses wasn't doing tricks. This was really God. But Pharaoh wouldn't listen to them. He wouldn't set Israel free. Now, gnats are like little, little buggy bugs things. I don't know if you've ever gone through a walk and you see like the swarm of little bugs. Well, imagine them all over the place. I mean, you couldn't get away from them. That's how bad this plague was. Now, the fourth plague brought many flies. They got into the Egyptians' houses and were a terrible bother. So, kind of like gnats. Now they're a little bit bigger, <laughs> and they're everywhere. Pharaoh still wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't concede that the Israelites could go. The fifth plague killed the Egyptians' cows, sheep, horses, donkeys, and camels. But Pharaoh still refused to obey God. So then, while we're on six plagues, the sixth plague struck the Egyptian people. Their skin was covered with boils, like 
painful sores. Have you ever had a, a sore that just doesn't want to go away, that hurts? Well, this is what happened. It was all over the Egyptians. And Pharaoh still said no. So moral, Moses warned Pharaoh the seventh plague would be bring lightning and huge hailstones falling from the sky. Some Egyptians believed Moses. And they moved their animals and their workers under shelter. The hail killed any animals and people left outside. And it destroyed half of the food growing in the fields. Pharaoh told Moses he would release the Israelites if God stopped the hail. But when the hail ended, Pharaoh changed his mind and refused. <sighs> now we're up to eight plagues. The eighth plague was a huge swarm of locusts. So locusts looked kind of like a grasshopper. And they covered the fields and they ate up all the plants that the hail had left. So now there's no food. Do you think Pharaoh changed his mind? No, he didn't. We are now at nine plagues. The ninth plague was dark that came over Egypt for three days and three nights. But once again, Pharaoh refused to let the Israelites go, even though the plagues had ruined his country. Woo! So, there's one more plague, but that is next week's lesson. <laughs> so, we talked about nine of the plagues. So, Let's see if we can remember what they were. The first one was water changed to blood. The second one was frogs. Even a frog lover wouldn't like that one. And the third one was gnats. The fourth one was flies. The fifth one was death of the livestock. Six was boils, remember sores all over. Seven was hail and lightning. Eight was locusts, that was like uh, grasshoppers. And nine was darkness for how many? Three days, three nights. All right, so that was our story today. What do you think? Would you have liked to have been there when all these plagues were going on? I wouldn't. I am so glad I'm not there. I don't really like bugs, and I'm not even dealing with the kind of blood, bugs that were in that uh, those plagues. Um, yeah, I really don't like eating bugs. <clears throat> so, <laughs> Pharaoh just didn't listen to God, did he? Do you think that there's going to be something that's going to change his heart? I hope so, for the Israelites' sake. Um, but I do know the story. But, yeah, he does, but... Eh, Pharaoh has a way of changing his mind a lot, unfortunately. Um, so, do we sometimes not listen to God? Hmm. I think sometimes we do. Sometimes we think we know better, but God's always got a plan. Um, so, we just have to remember to say, we're sorry, and, um, and say, you know, forgive me. And God does. He forgives, which is awesome. So, but we do have to be sorry. So, let's pray. Dear God, um, thank you for helping me when I have a problem. And thank you for, um, for parents to help us when we do have problems. And Lord, we just... Um, ask that you be with us and guide us and Lord that we be open and not be like Pharaoh and say no and harden our hearts but be open and say yes God I love you and I will follow you in your name we pray amen <laughs>